Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an episode of Legends. We've been uh, karaokeing all night long. My voice is uh, a bit destroyed. But I've had this tremendous idea to assemble a Tilvani combo deck. Now, this deck is a shout deck, and it also uses Nixoxing for for combo. Uh, I said, let's build it. See how it goes and start improving from there. Now we've got a great starting hand, black um, black hand messenger. We've got necromancer. We've got one copy of drain vitality. And the distiller will help us. Oh, but I think I went too early with it. Uh, summoning Laneth pretty soon. Rapid shot. Another rapid shot. Okay, he really wants it dead. Luckily for me, I have the Black Hand Messenger. We're just going into Pilfer, get seven Magicka. And make uh, make good use of that by destroying the afflicted elite, and we gained another Salter from the Greybeard Mentor. Another rapid shot, and a Stormcloak Vanguard. Well, th there goes our plan to summoning Laneth in the next turn. Sorcerer's Negation. Hmm. Well, we could play the Goblin Skulk. And get a fire bloom because we have three copies and we can use the fire bloom on the black hand messenger and get rid of uh, whatever creature our opponent will summon next and I forgot to mention our opponent is playing a warrior. Now I don't know exactly what kind of warrior it is. It may be a control warrior. Unfortunately, due to the, um, the silence on the goblin skulk, no more fire bloom draw. So we'll just push 4 damage to face. And I'm really, really tempted of using the Solter. The Necromancer is good, but we have nothing to bring back. Because this Stiller has the same amount of attack as the Necromancer. So unless we figure a way of boosting the Necromancer, it will... They pretty still and um, in my hand. Woo. Mm hmm. So we could pilfer and get Lanneth out. We also ha uh, have seven magicka, eight with the ring. So we'd use our last charge. Mm, decisions, decisions.
This is uh, it's quite troubling because we don't have anything to combo out. And there's a cruel fire bloom. Yeah. There's nine magicka. There goes Laneth. Let's scroll down. Come on, come on, click. <laughs> Turn timer went out, and we have a Balmora Spy Master, which is also good. We can use the Doppelganger on, uh, on Lanneth, and we can pick whatever we want. I really wanted an Ixox, but um, Balitza's Thinkering is also a powerful card. So we can play Balmora Spy Master. We have eight, nine Magicka available. We have the Doppelganger. Let's get rid of that. Let's doppelganger into Laneth. And get an uprising. And the tinkering. Because La uh, Laneth will die inevitably. Ooh, double creature's power and health. Jesus, look at that Lanith. <laughs> um, sure, let's, let's transform this one. Ooh, and it's, uh, it's a dragon. Gives us one random keyword. For the creatures that we draw. That's a really powerful uh, dragon. Shadowfin Priest. Okay, silencing Lanith. Oh, and this kind of ruins our plan for the Ulfric Uprising. Oh boy. This should be fascinating. Let's push for face. Three damage left uh, to go. Let's go with the Necromancer and pick. We could pick the Black Hand Messenger. But the Balmore Spy Master used with Cruel Fire Bloom. Would be just as great. Match ended. Welcome back. And looks like our deck does not click properly. Now we've had no combo whatsoever. So I went into the deck builder. Starting. Um, started. Switching uh, cards. And came up with this uh, version of Tilvani combo that I think is the best for me right now. We've got more comboing elements and we've completely removed the shouts. Given the fact that in our previous match we only played a Solter. Only one shout. That, that meant something for me. It was a hint. Get rid of them. 
What a merchant. Well, this deck that we're facing against is a sorcerer. Could be a Falkreath Defiler deck. But so far, I uh, haven't seen uh, any big cards going into the dumpster. Haunting Spirit. Uh, we have to pick between the Tree Minder and the Elusive Schema. Make good use of our Magicka or gain an extra Magicka for our next turn. Rising of Bones. We can use Rising of Bones to sacrifice uh, Black Hand Messenger. Daggerfall Mage, let's see if he trades or... yeah. Okay, Giant Bat. Now we're going to boost Magicka like crazy. Huh. So we can, uh, we can combo a bit. No, actually not. <laughs> Dreams destroyed. Oh Jesus, look at that. <laughs> That's a 5-5 five five with ward. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, let's let's see what uh let's see what the schema draws us next time. Oh, it's a Nyx Ox. Excellent. Next turn will be eight Magicka. Another giant bat. And I think I, I'll overdraw. Nope, nope. Still in the clear. So we're just going to get 2 HP back, use Rising of Bones, hmm, or we can just start with our Nick Socks. Nick Socks will give us uh, well, another 5 that will be at 6 Magicka. Not sure we can play that. It's not enough. But if we wait too much, we might uh, end up just dead. Now, Chichiro will most likely try to kill anything. Start drawing cards. Opponent is down to three cards. But um, that will soon change. Yep, there it goes. The good part is we had uh, two creatures for from the Rising of Bones, so uh, did it specifically to have this uh, this other. Oh yeah, never mind. I had a double to to manage to kill Chichiro. 
prevent him from drawing any more cards. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to use our giant bats and destroy Chichiro. <coughs> Sorry. And the Eclipse Baroness has just brought us a discount Salsa Sill. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> oh, stuff's gonna go down. Cano. Okay, another discount. We're going to overdraw. Not important. The card was not important. Ten Magicka. We can place out the sill. And then we can play. Into our next turn, the Nick Soxes, the Dolphal Ganger, and all the crazy stuff in our hand. Let's discount, uh, let's exalt it, sorry. That should protect us from the incoming damage in the shadow lane. And also remove Uncano from the board. So unless Soda Sill gets um, sniped, we should be fine. And next turn we can... Uh, oh, another Doppelganger. Okay, this is getting hilarious. Don't die, Clan Sorcerer. Um, well, I don't really care because Doppelgangers are coming, Nixoxes are cam coming. And I'll just be filling both of my lanes with imperfect uh, Roybots. Okay, we overdrew the <laughs> scheme. <laughs> That's not a big loss, is it? Let's copy Salta Seal. We can copy yet another Salta Seal. Now we need to have. The initial Soto Sill alive and not silence. Look at that board. <laughs> Look at that board. <laughs> That's three Soto Sills and three Awakened Imperfects. Race dead. What's he trying to raise? Black Hand Messenger. Okay, so I believe he's going to hit the original Soul of Sill. Otherwise, why use Black Hand Messenger? No. No, no, he did not. He hit one of the Awakened Imperfects. Which currently for me on the field, they're just uh, cannon fodder. Come on, pick a card. Don't be salty. Okay. Plunder. Now we could see a silence effect from uh, from the bow. Don't think he has it. Wow. A lightning bolt. No. Yeah, lightning bolt and um, black hand messenger wouldn't wouldn't have destroyed the soul to sill. Oh boy, look at the board! Look at my hand. Wow. 
Let's get rid of that. We'll also get rid of that. Now I can just push damage to face. And it's um it's match complete. Let's uh let's show how cool we are. <laughs> More sorts of sills! More sorts of sills. <laughs> yep, so we successfully comboed not Nick Sox, but Sotasil got the job done. Pew pew lasers.